This is Silver Dave. You bought some eagles recently. And then you bought some maples. But then you try to stack the two together. And they don't fit. You try to put the eagle in the maples box. Eagle's too big. You try to put the maple in the eagles box. It's too small. It rattles. Now you have a headache. Well, how do we solve this? Let's find out. I notice on Reddit and uh, in a few forums that people are trying to stack eagles, or they used to only stack eagles. But with the eagle shortage, people have been branching out. They've been moving towards buying Canadian silver. They've been moving to buy the Austrian Philharmonica, which is a really good coin. Um, they've been moving to buy maybe some Australian or Fiji coins that are also of a different size. So. How do we solve this? Because the problem is the eagle is flat and thin. I think it's 40 millimeters in diameter and it's 2.8 millimeters in thickness. And your Canadians and your Philharmonicers are 3.2 millimeters and 3.7 and 3.8 ish uh, millimeters wide. So they're much smaller but thicker. So if you want to stack 20 philharmonicers in, uh, sorry, 20 maple leaves or philharmonicers into a box of eagles, you wouldn't be able to fit it because it will go too high. If you want to stack eagles into your uh, maple box, well, it's too thick. It won't actually go in or you barely, but <laughs> good luck getting it out. Um, and also, what if you don't have 20 coins? These boxes, they're made to fit 20 coins. You're like, yeah, but 20 coins, everybody can stack 20 coins. Maybe not, maybe you only wanna buy 10 coins. Maybe you only wanna buy five coins. And if you have less than 20 coins, you need to put all this, and you don't want your coins to rattle, you need to put all this junk on top of it to keep your coins tight. Ah, oh, wrong box, see? So, what if we had something that could hold all of our coins, right, all of them, in one container, all of our bullion coins in one container, and make sure that they don't rattle and allow us to take them out one by one. Maybe you have a container mixed with maples, philharmonicers, and eagles, and you just want to open it and take out your eagles. So, you know what we're going to do? It doesn't exist. I looked online. I can find such a thing, we're gonna make it. We're going to build us a case, a Silver Dave case that allows you to put 10 ounces of silver into that small box and uh, allows you to not have your coins rattle too much or rattle uh, and hit each other and allow you to open the box and take the coins out one by one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna make this. Let's do it. So here we are. Um, I'm using a program called Tinkercad and uh, you see some parts of the screen blurred because you can see some of my uh, files and personal stuff. Um, it's not really embarrassing stuff, but I don't want everybody on the internet to see it. So let's get started. Um, I'm currently, was, this video is accelerated and essentially this is a voiceover, but I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Um, essentially I'm trying, when I first started designing this, uh, this sort of tray. I was thinking that maybe I could do a 20 ounce tray because I saw some people on the forums and they were saying that they had a problem. They, um, they were buying eagles and they were buying maples and they were having trouble um, stacking the two because you know maples and uh, eagles, they don't fit in, fit in the same box. The dimensions are different, eagles are thinner, so I was like, okay, maybe I can think of something. And I, I slept on it. And I have eagles and I have maples. And I was like, hmm. But I also, I show on my videos mainly the stuff I have in boxes and the nice looking stuff. Um, but I do have some like older, like loose eagles sitting in a lunchbox container. That's where I hold my loose stuff. And it's not very nice. And when I take it out, I'm always a bit bummed because I see that there's 
maybe a little bit of a scratch here, a scratch there. It shouldn't bother me, but it does. And if I can find something that's pretty much free to do, and I give it away for free, and it avoids um, damaging your coins, um, why not? You know. So the program I'm using to do the 3D uh, model for the case is called Tinkercad. It's a free program. Uh, you can find it online, and I use it to make the um, the uh, case. And the way you, normally when you make uh, 3D objects is that you try to start out with some cutouts. And uh, as you go along with the cutouts, um, you hollow out your object. You make sure that uh, uh, you make sure that you're in a space. You make sure that the dimensions are correct. And uh, this is one of the things you'll see in the video is that I I take out my calculator a lot because initially I wanted to make the 20 uh, 20 ounce box. I realized that actually that I stack 20 ounces, but actually if you have 20 ounces of eagles, you don't need this box. This box is for people who have mixed coins and who have maybe less than 20 ounces of each unit. So it is for the stacker who, with his paycheck, is only going to get 10 ounces every single time they go to the store and wants a place to store their coins. And you're like, yeah, but everybody can stack more than 20 ounces. Yes, in the forums, people post like, you know, they're stacking thousands of ounces, but I'm sure not everybody is stacking 20 ounces. I see a lot of beginner stackers they're starting slow, which is a good thing. You want people to start slow. You don't want people to overcommit to stacking because then that's how they get burned and they go out of, uh, they leave uh, the stack, they, they leave, they sell their collection. And they're like, fuck this, I lost money on it. Um, the way you want people to do is they start slowly. And uh, so I was like, let's make a case. Let's make a, something that can help everybody store a little bit of their loose bullion and in an organized way and a unit that everybody can uh, easily identify with. So I went with a 10 ounce box and I went with um, the, the dimensions of something that is as wide as an eagle, but as thick as the uh, Philharmonica. So you can fit all of those coins within the box and you should be able to put the box like one on top of each other. So that's what I was thinking. So I'm trying to make this very square. I'm trying to make it a uh, relatively uh, decent size. It's not going to be too big. It's not going to be too small. It should be roughly the same size as a current 20 ounce Eagles 20 pack, but it only puts 10 ounces and separates the coins out. One of the advantages is that you don't actually have to take out all your coins to look at one coin. Um, that's kind of one of the problems I, I don't like with the current tubes is that you need to take out all your coins to get to some of your coins. And um, I'm like, yeah, what if I just want to have a mixed bag of coins and I am I want to show somebody just an eagle or I just want to show like maybe a specific coin in my thing. I have to take everything out and then I have to show that one. And um, also every time you take out coins from a tube, they rattle, they, they always, the top of, the coin at the top of the tube is the coin that's going to get always damaged the most. And because you can't, open up your tube from the side, you can't just pick out a random coin in the middle. So that's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe I, I can do this system where you have separators and it separates your coins in this tray box thingy and it's still a stack, it's still all together, it's still very compact. And um, you put 10 ounces in there and when you want to take out one coin, you can just like lift the lid and then slide it out, and then you can take that one coin out from anywhere in that box. Um, I thought that it might have been a good idea in the beginning to make uh, kind of a complex design with, you know, that the, there would be some uh, special holders coming in between the two sides, but I thought like, maybe we should start out with something simple that, uh, that most 3D printers can make. Because one of the things I had learned uh, working is that uh, in a lot of 3D print designs, um, you can't just like make any model and it'll print. You know, 3D printers typically deal badly with overhangs. Uh, yep, in this way over, you might hear my dog. He just woke up, he licked his balls. Now he's coming to lick me. Uh, that's great. Uh, please don't lick me right now. You just licked your balls. Um, back to designs. So. 
everything in this in this video has been sped up i think uh i did it at a 10x uh no 5x speed so it took me most of my morning to make this design i was doing a lot of the calculations thank god i didn't make too many mistakes in my calculations so when i dropped and combined all my shapes it all fit in quite well <laughs> that that was i was really happy when that happened because i was thinking huh maybe well, you know when you change in um in a 3D model, when you change from one size to another, you can't just usually stretch things out. You know, if you're going from a uh, a because when you stretch things out, it also increases the sizes. So you, if you have like for example nuts and bolts in your uh, 3D design and you stretch it out, you're actually like your that hole for that uh, screw or nut gets stretched out too, two, three, four times the dimension, and that does not you can't make that. Um, you have to resize all your holes. So you have some things can be stretched out. Some things cannot be stretched out and some things, uh, can be, uh, has to be resized or made smaller. In this case, I got really lucky and, uh, I realized that I, that the 20 ounce, uh, box was going to be quite big. It will be, uh, quite cumbersome that it wouldn't be, uh, needed by everybody. And that actually a 10 ounce, a smaller unit was this type of division. Uh, in between the coins and allow the access to the coin in the middle or elsewhere, uh, not just the top coin, would actually be the most useful. Because even if you have like 20 ounces, you can just get two boxes. You can print two boxes and uh, store them in two boxes. Um, another thing why I wanted to go with the box was because I also noticed that with a lot of the older coins, you go into these flyers. And um, I don't like the flyers. They're, they're flimsy. They don't tend to protect your coins that well. And I noticed that a lot of older coins, a lot of older silver coins, when they're in those type of a plastic protectors that you put into like a folder, um, they, tend to, they tend to like tarnish quite quickly because they're not that well protected. They're only protected from three sides and not from four sides. So we're going for a four-sided solution, which you can open and you can close. It's not waterproof, it's not airtight, but it's pretty darn good. It's about as good as you're going to get with uh, something that you're going to 3D print and that's free and you can make it yourself. Um, initially, I, in the design you're right now seeing that I'm actually doing changing the cutout. I wanted in the beginning to make a sort of like a, a coin shape cutout, but then I realized that a coin shape cutout would be actually very difficult to print because maybe the print, because my printer isn't that great. And I know my friend has a FDM printer and I don't know his resolution. So I'm just going with a straight edge first. And I might have a V2 where I'll change things up and make things a little bit more uh, fancy and curvaceous and optimized. But this is version one and uh, we're almost done with this. We'll move back to the desk. So we're done with designing. You saw me work. It was sped up a bit so you could see like, uh, not everything was great. I cut out some parts where I was deleting stuff. Um, but this is the final result. We have 10 coin slots that should fit both the, um, the either the Philharmonicers or the Silver Maples or the Eagles. They're wide enough to fit Eagles. Um, and also these type of Fiji uh, Australian type coins. Um, it really solves the issue. Like if I took this foam out, my coins would rattle in this box since they're not, there's not 20 coins in there. And, um, also it puts less pressure on to stack 20 in sets of 20. You can now choose to stack less. If you don't have as much money or you have less of a budget to stack, well, you can still keep your coins organized. Um, I've seen a lot of people that when they have a few coins, they just like throw it in a bunch and sort of like a bag together. Or, uh, oops, I have a silver coin there. <laughs> they throw it into a bag together and it's, uh, it just it rattles, it scratches. It's for, if you're thinking about weight, it doesn't really matter, but it does matter a little bit when you're trying to sell because coin shops, when they sell, they like to see nice coins. So what we have here in the final result is we have your 10 ounces of coins. Um, you can see it's their silver day written on it. So. <laughs> and um, you have a lid. The lid is actually inverted, so you can slide it into the, their slots, keeping the lid uh, tight on top, and you should be able to slide it on top. I haven't tested this out because I don't have, my 3D printer broke when I tried to make this 
today. Um, I sent it to a friend who has a 3D printer and he's going to print it during the week. So there should be a part two. I will put the designs up on Thingiverse. You can download it. It's under a Creative Commons. Uh, it's under a Creative, I think, attribution license. So the only thing you have to do is give me credit that I, I made this and you can modify it, you can download it, you can make changes to it. Um, I put it under a creative opens, I think it was called creative opens attribution type license because I don't want, I'm not going to sell this. I don't want this to be commercialized. I want this to be free for the community, for people who want stack, but who don't necessarily have a large enough budget to fill out 20, these are 25 uh, size Canadian ones and these 20 uh, coin ones, it's right now these things, this thing is what, um, 25 times 30 is $750 for one roll of these and uh, this is over 600, these are $32 usually, $30 uh, a Silver Eagle roughly um, plus shipping so you're getting $600 in a roll I mean, these used to be like $300, I think two years ago. So obviously like 350, the prices are not the same. If you have the same budget as two years ago um, and you're looking at to buy stuff not on, the, not on the highest premium and you have a mix of bullion now because you're trying to hunt for lower premiums to be budget conscious and uh, to get the maximum silver out of your budget. And, but now the problem is you can't put them together. You can't mix the two and stack the two together in the same containers. This container, you should be able to do that. Um, you can download it. If you have a 3D printer, you, can, you should be able to print this. Um, they're STL files, so anybody can use it. Uh, you will be able to use, slice it into whatever uh, printer files. If you don't have a 3D printer, um, I don't have plans to sell this yet, but find a friend who does, <laughs> you know, make friends, ask a friend who has a 3D printer if he can print this out for you. Um, it should work with most uh, FDM printers and um, it should work with also with uh, resin printers depending on the printer. But if you don't have a printer, um, if you do have a printer, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have a printer and you ask a friend who does do 3D printing, they'll probably sort you out. Um, I haven't tested these designs in the real world yet. I plan on doing it once I get my friend to print them out and I'll be making adjustments. So there will be a part two where I test out the real life uh, design of this and see how that works. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, the link to the, the print to the um, 3D files and the print files is in the link of the video. And um, Remember, if you want to ask me questions, feel free to write a comment and I'll answer within the day. Um, and if you enjoy the content, remember to like and subscribe. I've got more content coming in probably during the week and tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to do daily posts. It's kind of, it's a bit hard. Sometimes I have to do pre-recorded videos. I have to do two, three because I have a busy work schedule. So usually on Sundays, I do record two, actually two or three videos. Um, I do daily posts, uh, so subscribe and uh, feel free and thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching. I have now 10 people watching, I think 11 subscribers or 10 subscribers. So it's pretty cool. Went up a little bit and uh, on average we're having, uh, I think I have about 10 to 13 views on average compared to when I first posted it was only three people. So I'm happy that you guys are watching this. Um, I've got some Swiss gold with me too. These are the stuff that came in. I'll do a video, an update of my stack too, of what came in this month and how much I spent this month um, on gold and silver and a little bit of where I think maybe this is all going to go and what I might buy next considering what is happening in the market right now. Thank you for watching. This is Dave.